Hello everyone, this is Kevin Alexander. I'm back again to do another question video. This time to show you guys my uh regular DS and my 3DS game collection as of 2018. Um I never done this collection video on my video on my channel, so here it is. I got a little little bit of DS games and a lot of 3DS games right here. Uh well not waste any time without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the DS games first. The first game I game I have is Mario Kart DS is a really, really good, good Mario Kart game on the DS. Really great. Uh, even the online, online back then was really, really great for the time, for the, for the time of being a regular DS. But it still go for a lot, a lot of money at my game stores and all that stuff. So if you're kind of Mario Kart, Kart, if you like DS Mario Kart games, I highly recommend uh, Mario Kart DS on the DS. Really, really awesome. Then we have, uh, Pokemon Diamond. Which is Gen 4, which Gen 4 is my favorite uh, generation of Pokemon of all time. So we have Pokemon Silver, which is I see in the uh, in the uh, this, in the uh, sandwich bag. Which this game, it blue cart alone, go for like forty five fifty dollars, and with the Poke Walker in the box, go for a lot lot more. So if you see the uh the Pokemon like Heart Gold and Soul Silver game, if you're a fan of the second generation, pick this game up before the regular price. Um I never played the um the second generation games of Pokemon before. I used to have a regular silver and beat it, but the battery but the batteries delete all my uh, Pokemon and all that stuff. So but you know but I sold it but you know nonetheless I'm very very happy happy to get this for like Got this game for like forty five thirty to forty dollars with a with a really really good price man and what it goes for for like sell it for like forty five fifty dollars. So if you fan the uh the second treasure of Pokemon in the fourth gen standing, I uh, get Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Stuff before the price go up. Really, really, really great Pokemon generation ever made. Then we have the uh the two uh uh, Gen 5 games right here. Then we first up we got uh, Pokemon, the first original Pokemon Black. Um, uh, this one's, eh, this one's alright. Um, not the bad generation of, the bad generation of Pokemon when we first started. Like, like after you beat the post game, you can catch like older Pokemon. Like, in the beginning game, you have to catch like newer Pokemon, which is a little bit off. That's the reason why people hate Gen 5 so much. But, eh, this one's alright. But this one really took the cake right here. You could kick the cake where you approve a lot of things. And that is Pokemon Y2 version. This is, this is I got it for like $15. And then uh, GameStop, the Black 2 Y2 go for like, so they want to sell like $35 to $40. $40 at GameStop and the other game stores. But I got for $15 at the pawn shop. So I ordered a cool case from it and still in the sand sandwich wrap right here. And I'm uh, so, so, so happy I have to have that in my uh, DS collection. And last DS game I have right here, that is Sonic Rush Adventure. So yeah, that's all the DS games. And now I move on to the 3DS games. Um, the first game I have it, uh, digitally, that is uh, Mario Kart 7, which came with my the digital download, which came with my 2DS. That was the only digital game I got. So let's move on to the physical games. First up, we got Codename Steam. So we have Fire Emblem Awakening. Really, really good track or RPG, or strategy RPG. If you like, if you're a fan of Fire Emblem and all that stuff, I highly recommend Fire Emblem Awakening. And this is some strange reason this game is on my game store itself for like forty five dollars for some strange reason, but. Yeah, if you're a fan of Fire Emblem, if you're a fan of like technical uh, strategy RPGs, I highly recommend this game. So we have Kid Icarus Uprising. I have it digitally, digitally beat it, and I love it. And I'm uh, glad I have the physical copy for like twenty-two dollars. And I will never the reason uh, you have it digitally, but I won't like my game physical and still in a plastic sound bag to keep it from protected. So yeah, Kid Icarus Uprising, really, really great game. Huge approval over the uh, the NES one. So we have uh, the two Kirby games. We got we got Kirby Planet Robobot, uh, which is a really, really good Kirby game. 
and then we have Kirby Triple Deluxe, which is another awesome really, really Kirby game on the handheld. Then we have the uh, the Pokemon games. We got Pokemon X. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, which is really really good good remake of your uh, the, uh, the original Ruby as Alpha Sapphire. I used to have Sapphire as a kid as Game Boy fans, but it got stolen, so I got the remake, and I really, really love the remake. And then we have the last Pokemon game I have is Pokemon Moon. Um, like after like this one right here. I stopped caring about the Pokemon games. I don't really care about Pokemon much no more. I really, really Pokemon out. But this one, I beat it last year. You see my um, la see my um, the, the games I beat in 2017 for you. You know I heard about this game. You talk about this game. Like you have a huge generation. Is take um different stuff of Pokemon. You like Island Charges and all that. Like I don't need to go into detail. Watch that uh, the the games I beat in 2017 for you. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah. Pokemon Moon, eh, it's a decent Pokemon game. Uh, nothing too special. Then we have, uh, Star Fox 64 3D, uh, which I have digitally as well. I got it physically for like $23 on the Elite Pro membership, and it's in this, uh, plastic, uh, sandwich bag as well. Um, it's, it's an N64 port, and the first game on the, uh, the 3DS, and it looked good on the, uh, good, look good on the 3DS. Um, you don't have the N64 version. Version and have this version play Star Fox 64 3D. You will never regret it. The best Star Fox game ever made. And I beat it with, with like two gold medals and all that stuff. We have the uh, the first game I have had with my uh, 2DS along with uh, Pokemon X. That uh, ships my birds with 3DS. Um, I don't play that play the first that much anymore because I played the Wii U one, but. Still, for the still for the first time I play, I play from, from time to time here and there, but I play the Wii version more. But for the time being, it's a really, really good, um, good, uh, snap of the game for the 3DS. And the last game I have for this question, which is a new 3DS game, which I don't have a new 3DS game. And this game, go sell for the Wii version of it, sell for like a lot, a lot of money in there. The new 3DS version costs a little bit decent than the new money and it's still sealed. That is Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Still sealed, never open, and probably never play it. And Shoko, my favorite character on Super Smash Brothers on the, uh, the Wii U and 3DS. Still sealed. I played it before. It's a really, really good RPG. Um, RPG takes so long, but yeah, the Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. If you like this game, if you like RPGs and all that stuff, I highly recommend seeing Ray Chronicles play on the Wii or Nintendo 3DS. Highly, highly recommend that. And that is it, you guys, for my DS and my 3DS collection of 2018. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments below what DS and 3DS games do you have. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to hit me on my channel for more upcoming uh, videos, make sure to follow my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Kent Alex Game Page. And I'll see y'all next time with another video. Thank you very much. And goodbye.